Napoleon Bonaparte, born August 15, 1769, died May 5, 1821, usually referred to as simply Napoleon in English, was a French military and political leader who rose to prominence during the French Revolution and led several successful campaigns during the Revolutionary Wars. He was the de facto leader of the French Republic as first consul from 1799 to 1804. As Napoleon I, he was emperor of the French from 1804 until 1814 and again in 1815. Napoleon dominated European and global affairs for more than a decade, while leading France against a series of coalitions in the Napoleonic Wars. He won most of these wars and the vast majority of his battles, building a large empire that ruled over continental Europe before its final collapse in 1815. One of the greatest commanders in history, his wars and campaigns are studied at military schools worldwide. He remains one of the most celebrated and controversial political figures in human history, born Napoleone di Bonaparte on the island of Corsica not long after its annexation by the Kingdom of France. Napoleon's modest family descended from minor Italian nobility, he supported the French Revolution in 1789 while serving in the French army, and tried to spread its ideals to his native Corsica. He rose rapidly in the army after he saved the governing French directory by firing on royalist insurgents. In April 1796, he began his first military campaign against the Austrians and their Italian allies, scoring a series of decisive victories and becoming a national hero. Two years later, he led a military expedition to Egypt that served as a springboard to political power. He engineered a coup in November 1799 and became first consul of the Republic. Intractable differences with the British meant that, the French were facing the War of the Third Coalition by 1805, Napoleon shattered this coalition with decisive victories in the Ulm campaign, and a historic triumph at the Battle of Austerlitz, which led to the dissolving of the Holy Roman Empire. In 1806, the Fourth Coalition took up arms against him, because Prussia became worried about growing French influence on the continent, Napoleon quickly knocked out Prussia at the battles of Jena and Auerstedt, then marched the Grand Armée deep into eastern Europe, annihilating the Russians in June 1807 at Friedland, and forcing the defeated nations of the Fourth Coalition to accept the treaties of Tilsit two years later. The Austrians challenged the French again during the War of the Fifth Coalition, but Napoleon solidified his grip over Europe after triumphing at the Battle of Wagram. Hoping to extend the continental system, embargo of Britain Napoleon invaded the Iberian Peninsula, and declared his brother Joseph the King of Spain in 1808, the Spanish and the Portuguese revolted with British support, the Peninsular War lasted six years, featured brutal guerrilla warfare, and culminated in a defeat for Napoleon's marshals, Napoleon launched an invasion of Russia in the summer of 1812, the resulting campaign witnessed the catastrophic retreat of Napoleon's Grand Armée, and encouraged his enemies, in 1813 Prussia and Austria joined Russian forces in a sixth coalition against France. A chaotic military campaign culminated in a large coalition army defeating Napoleon. At the Battle of Leipzig in October 1813, the coalition invaded France and captured Paris, forcing Napoleon to abdicate in April 1814. Napoleon was exiled to the island of Elba, between Corsica and Italy, in France. The Bourbons were restored to power, however, Napoleon escaped from Elba in February 1815 and took control of France, without spilling a drop of blood as he wished. The Allies responded by forming a Seventh Coalition, which ultimately defeated Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo in June 1815. The British exiled him to the remote island of St. Helena in the South Atlantic, where he died in 1821 at the age of 51. Napoleon had an extensive impact on the modern world, bringing liberal reforms to the numerous territories that he conquered and controlled, especially the Low Countries, Switzerland, and large parts of modern Italy and Germany, he implemented fundamental liberal policies in France and throughout Western Europe. His lasting legal achievement, the Napoleonic Code, has been highly influential historian Andrew Roberts says, the ideas that underpin our modern world, meritocracy, quality before the law, property rights, religious toleration, modern secular education, sound finances, and so on, were championed, consolidated, codified and geographically extended by Napoleon. To them he added a rational and efficient local administration, an end to rural banditry, the encouragement of science and the arts, the abolition of feudalism and the greatest codification of laws, is the fall of the Roman Empire. Early life Napoleon's family was of Italian origin. His paternal ancestors, the Bonapartes, descended from a minor Tuscan noble family who emigrated to Corsica in the 16th century, while his maternal ancestors, the Ramolinos, descended from a minor Genoese noble family. The Bonapartes were also the relatives. By marriage and by birth, of the Pietrasentas, Costas, Paravicinis, and Bonas, all Corsican families of the interior, 
his parents Carlo Maria di Bonaparte and Maria Letizia Ramolino, maintained an ancestral home called Casa Bonaparte in Ajaccio, it was there at this home that Napoleon was born. On August 15, 1769, he was the fourth child and third son of the family, he had an elder brother, Joseph, and younger siblings Lucien, Elisa, Louis, Pauline, Caroline, and Jerome. Napoleon was baptized as a Catholic, under the name Napoleone, in his youth, his name was also spelled as Nabulione, Nabulio, Bolion, and Napoleone. Napoleon was born in the same year that the Republic of Genoa ceded the region of Corsica to France, the state sold sovereign rights a year before his birth, and the island was conquered by France during the year of his birth. It was formally incorporated as a province in 1770. After 500 years under Genoese rule and 14 years of independence, Napoleon's parents joined the Corsican resistance and fought against the French to maintain independence, even when Maria was pregnant with him. His father was an attorney who went on to be named Corsica's representative to the court of Louis XVI in 1777. The dominant influence of Napoleon's childhood was his mother, whose firm discipline restrained a rambunctious child later in life, Napoleon stated, the future destiny of the child is always the work of the mother. Napoleon's maternal grandmother had married into the Swiss Fesch family in her second marriage, and Napoleon's uncle, the Cardinal Joseph Fesch, would fulfill a role as protector of the Bonaparte family for some years. Napoleon's noble, moderately affluent background afforded him greater opportunities to study than were available to a typical Corsican of the time. When he turned nine years old, he moved to the French mainland and enrolled at a religious school in Auden in January 1779. In May, he transferred with a scholarship to a military academy at Brienne-le-Château. In his youth he was an outspoken Corsican nationalist and supported the state's independence from France. Like many Corsicans, Napoleon spoke and read Corsican and Italian. He began learning French in school at around age 10. Although he became fluent in French, he spoke with a distinctive Corsican accent and never learned how to spell correctly in French. He was, however, not an isolated case, as it was estimated in 1790 that fewer than 3 million people, out of France's population of 28 million, were able to speak standard French, and those who could write it were even fewer. Napoleon was routinely bullied by his peers for his accent, birthplace, short stature, mannerisms and inability to speak French quickly. Bonaparte became reserved and melancholy applying himself to reading. An examiner observed that Napoleon has always been distinguished for his application in mathematics. He is fairly well acquainted with history and geography, this boy would make an excellent sailor. In early adulthood, he briefly intended to become a writer, he authored a history of Corsica and a romantic novella. On completion of his studies at Brienne in 1784, Napoleon was admitted to the École Militaire in Paris. He trained to become an artillery officer and, when his father's death reduced his income, was forced to complete the two-year course in one year. He was the first Corsican to graduate from the École Militaire, he was examined by the famed scientist Pierre Simon Laplace. Early career Upon graduating in September 1785, Bonaparte was commissioned a second lieutenant in La Fier Artillery Regiment. He served in Valence and Auxon until after the outbreak of the revolution in 1789. The young man still was a fervent Corsican nationalist during this period, and asked for leave to join his mentor Pasquale Paoli, when the latter was allowed to return to Corsica by the National Assembly. Paoli had no sympathy for Napoleon however as he deemed his father a traitor for having deserted his cause for Corsican independence, he spent the early years of the revolution in Corsica, fighting in a complex three-way struggle among royalists, revolutionaries, and Corsican nationalists. Napoleon, however, came to embrace the ideals of the revolution, becoming a supporter of the Jacobins and joining the pro-French Corsican Republicans, who opposed Paoli's policy and his aspirations of secession. He was given command over a battalion of volunteers and was promoted to captain in the regular army in July 1792, despite exceeding his leave of absence and leading a riot against French troops. When Corsica declared formal secession from France, and requested the protection of the British government Napoleon, and his commitment to the French Revolution came into conflict with Paoli, who had decided to sabotage the Corsican contribution to the expedition to Sardaigne, by preventing a French assault on the Sardinian island of La Maddalena, Bonaparte and his family were compelled to flee to Toulon on the French mainland in June 1793. Because of the split with Paoli, although he was born Napoleone di Bonaparte, it was after this that Napoleon began styling himself Napoleon Bonaparte, but his family did not drop the name Bonaparte until 1796. The first known record of him signing his name as Bonaparte was at the age of 27, in 1796.